am Inyo Zalea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I'll be showing you how to create a snowflake in Adobe Illustrator just like this one and it will also be one object as you can see everything is connected together so let's get started um, so we'll create a new document here and I will just click OK make it square whatever and I'll create it right here first thing that we'll do is actually make a background to view it on so I will make something like this and just pick a nice color for it and then just go into my layers and lock it for the background so we'll rename it BG for background create a new layer and actually we can uh, lock the entire layer here um, on this new layer I will start making with my pen tool something uh, like the top part of my snowflake so Click over here, then hold shift to make a nice 45 degrees angle, something like this and make it stop over here. And then I will go to the right and make it snap to this uh, point. And so you will see this pink uh, line, which means that it's actually on the same position. Now we'll just close it down and now I will give it a color. So we'll click here on the color, make it white. And for the stroke, I will select no stroke. So we only have this white part. Next what I will do is click on my layer with my selection tool and then just Ctrl C to copy and then Ctrl Shift V to paste in the exact same position and right click go to um, reflect so uh, transform reflect and then on the vertical axis and just click OK. There we go, we're going to uh, drag it onto the right and make it snap to the original one so we get something like this uh, a little bit like so. Then you can select the entire thing and then you can press E on the keyboard to transform it and maybe um, make it a little bit smaller like so and then go to this tool and select only the bottom parts and drag this out so go to the bottom so we have a straighter but thinner line with the same proportions uh, like so okay I want something like this but I want them to be together so what I will do is click on this one hold shift and click on the other one and then go to the pathfinder if you can see that go to window pathfinder and click on this to unite them all together and now you have just one object next what I will do is take my pen tool again or actually we can uh, just take a rectangular tool and go over here and drag something like so then go back to your uh, direct selection tool and select only these two buttons um, and then I will just hold shift and press the up arrow uh, a few times until I get something like this that I like of course you can hold uh, well press the arrow key to the left as well to make it a little bit shorter if you want to to get something similar looking to this and then I will click on this uh, go to my direct, well, my just my selection tool, hold alt and drag it downwards somewhere around here. And again, go to your direct selection and select again these last two points and just put them to uh, the right a little bit. So you get something like this that it's actually a little bit broader uh, like so. Of course, try to keep the same kind of proportions right here. And now we have something like this. I will click on these and I will right click transform and again I will reflect these and I'll also on the vertical axis and just click on copy and that's going to make a copy for us and I see that I didn't select them correctly so I'll uh, just undo this for now click on this one click on this one um, I'll select the entire thing here okay right click transform reflect copy and that's going to do that correctly and then I will shift them with shift I will also snap them to the middle so they are at the exact same positions on the opposite side then I will select everything together and again unite them together so we have something like this next what I will do is I want a few copies so I will go into my positioning tool so that's again E on the keyboard and drag this um, center point to the bottom right here now I'll click away go to my rotation tool hold alt and actually click on my image and then I will enter something like 45 degrees I will put it minus so it's going uh, clockwise now we'll click copy and that's going to make a copy right over here then you can just hold ctrl and press D on the keyboard that's going to make duplicates with the same kind of distance and now we have something like this which looks really cool but again they're all separate so we'll select all of them and again unite them together now what we want to do is go into the shape tool and go for a star tool I will click in the middle of my um, layer well my artboard 
and I will drag them out with the shift and now you can see that each corner of my uh, star is in each line of my snowflakes if you don't have that just press the up and arrow uh, and down arrow on your keyboard until you have that same kind of distance so that's right about, uh, around here and then if you hold shift it's going to snap and if you now hold control and also drag you're going to drag it like so so now you can do something like this so it shouldn't be a very sharp star something like this looks really cool so I'll release it once I have done that and then I will go into uh, my color and just swap them so um, my stroke gets the color right now and then I'll make my th uh, stroke take it to something like 30 hit enter and now I have something like this um, of course you can do everything um, your, whatever you want so okay 20 I actually wanted to enter 20 so now I have 20 here in my snowflake and I get something like this so this is a pretty cool snowflake of course you can add and tweak stuff like add one more over here maybe or actually uh, copy hold shift and control and paste it again and then make this one uh, a little bit bigger holding shift and alt and now we have a double one and maybe we can make this one a little bit thinner and uh, we get some more details in here of course, because of your stroke, you can't unite it with your other shape. So what you have to do is go to object, go into shape path actually, and outline stroke. And then do that for the other stroke as well. And that's going to outline it. So it's not a stroke again. You can't change the settings anymore, but then you can select everything together again and unite them. And now you have one object. So that's really interesting if you want to export this for something like Cinema 4D where you want to extrude uh, the snowflake so you could do some really cool stuff with that as well. So this is how to create a snowflake in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.